Hello there. I'm just swimming a Holoquin lady bird here. Just resting on a nettle leaf. Oh, it looks like it's. Oh, yes, it's just starting to move now a bit. Oh, the Holoquin ladybird is another very common ladybird here in the United Kingdom. Hmm. And it's roughly the same size as the seven spot ladybird. Yeah, but as you can see, this ladybird has a lot more spots. <laughs> and actually, yeah, the hollow queen ladybird can <laughs> come in a variety of colorations and also can have yeah, very spots as well, from as many as 22 spots or no spots at all. And yeah. And like I said, they can come in many different colorations. Huh, Holoquin ladybirds can. Uh, it's just starting to move around the nettle now. Although the Holoquin ladybird is a, a common ladybird species here, well, it isn't actually native here in the United Kingdom. The Holoquin ladybird is actually native to uh, Eastern Asia, and it has been introduced into other parts of the world, including North America and other parts of Europe. Hmm. The Holoquin ladybird was introduced into North America to, to control aphid problems and in some parts of Europe as well I think and it was first seen here in the United Kingdom around 2004 and, and the Holoquin ladybird does not only eat aphids but it also eats fruit and other insects as well, including butterflies and other ladybirds. And the Holoquin ladybird has been responsible for the decline of many native ladybird species here in the United Kingdom and in parts of Europe and possibly North America as well. Hmm. Oh, it's just gone under the nettle leaf now. Let's see if I can... I can just about see it there. Oh, it's just starting to move off. Alright, I think that's about it now. Well, thanks for joining me everyone. And I'll see you next time.